Hello and welcome. I'll say back here again after quite a long break. It's a few more, a couple of days of break. But yeah, we're back with a brand new game. This is actually a, an alpha test so far. This is Brewmaster, uh, made by Aura Digital. Hopefully I am pronouncing it right. They gave me a, uh, a copy, an alpha copy of this game so that I can test it out. I can play it out. And so that I can uh, share the experience with you guys. If you would like to, if you'd like to uh, try the game out for yourself, I do have the link in the description. You can, uh, well, currently it's uh, it's still uh, you can only put, put it on playlist. But hopefully, though, um, the uh, the developers, sorry, <laughs> the developers can uh, put out some sort of a de demo soon, so that you can also experience it for yourself. All right. Anyway. <clears throat> Um, let's just head on to the game. Let me put on some music here. Hopefully that's enough because I don't think there's enough. Or there's no background music, I think. Let's see. Let's try it out a bit just to get the hang of the controls. But basically, <laughs> yeah, we are in a third person view. So if you're familiar with the other simulation games, I haven't played most of them yet. Uh, the cooking simulator, the one in VR, I haven't tested out. Not to mention a VR copy, but yeah. Uh, if you are also familiar about uh, the... Uh, how should you say this? Uh, beer crafting, yeah, it's not really just a hobby, it's, uh, it's a business. So that's... All right, there we go. <laughs> We're back. All right, retrieve a stainless steel pot, a small one from the equipment cupboard, and place a pot in the sink. Remove the lid, turn on the tap, and uh, fill with 20 liters of water. All right, so let's first let's get a pot. <clears throat> oh, it's a mash tun. What this one? I guess this is the one we need. All right. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Alright, got three. Let me put the others inside. Alright. <clears throat> Sorry. I have to clear up my throat. Alright, anyway. Um, next. What was that? Uh, place a pot in the sink, remove the lid, turn on the tap, and fill with 20 liters of water. Alright. Oh. Alright, <laughs> we already have one. Let me put this back. We don't need... What the heck? <laughs> Wait, I think... I think what happened there. Oh, okay. So it just gives us like a preview of the pot. All right, there we go. And V to remove the lid. Okay, and then open, close the tap. It says twenty liters. How should we know that? Oh, there we go. <clears throat> uh, you can already see it's gonna take a while. Oh, huh. this. Oh. Can you make this faster though? No, I guess not. <laughs> Alright, we'll just have to wait. Alright, this pot holds at least 25, at max, 25 liters, so uh, we don't have to fill up the entire pot. It's gonna take a while. <laughs> anyway, alright, well, uh, let me see. Does the game still. I guess not. It, that's 4200. Oh, the tap is still running. Okay, okay. Tap is still running. So step three. Oh, okay. It says here, press D to activate stopwatch mode, then use the mouse wheel to accelerate time. Okay. Uh, we can try that later, I guess. From the equipment cupboard, um, retrieve a basic mash time. Okay, that was the one that we saw. What? Oh, okay. Uh, this one. Basic mash ton. Yeah, Space is not on the table. What is up? It's uh, still filling up. Alright, these grains. Oh, sorry. Number four from the ingredients covered, um, retrieve the following grains 4,000 grams of America, American pale ale and 500 grams of pale crystal malt. Uh, what's that again? Ingredients covered. Uh, I think it's this one. Uh, 4,000 American, I guess, this one. Uh, oh, that's eight. Okay, there we go. And we got 
I think so. And pale crystal, how much was that? 500, I think. Let me see. Uh, 4,500 for pale crystal. Okay. Yeah, I do have them on my inventory though. Oh, oh. <laughs> Alright, how? Okay, seven, like around six liters to go. Alright, next step. Place the basic mash gun on the table, then pour. It's about to fill up though, but let's see. Um, oh, remove the lid. Always remove the lid. Okay, of course. Uh, and then pour it into. You know what? It's about to fill up, so let, let me just. Let me just watch it. Uh, let's try out the time. Alright, there we go. Okay, yeah, let's not go crazy about it. All right, six and seven, eight, ninety-nine. Ah! Oh, close the tap. Close the tap. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> close the watch. Close the tap. Ah, uh, it went over twenty-seven forty now. But um, from the very basic that I know of a uh, craft. Uh, beer crafting is uh, we'll be placing it on a fire, so we'll be losing a bit of water to, because it will turn into steam. So there's that. It's no harm, I guess. All right. Next was uh, number five. Place the basic mash on the table. Pour 3,700. Okay, so we won't have to pour everything. Of American Pale Ale and 400 grams of Pale Crystal Malt. All right, so 3,700 for this. That's that uh, says R for. Um, oh, okay. Scroll increase. Oh, oh, oh. But oh, there you go. Start pouring. Gotta take a while though. So you'll see how much is left in the bag and how much you have board in this uh, in this session of boring I guess because I think the white number will reset if we exit this uh, this board <laughs> all right anyway it's gonna take a while so ooh, let's not pour everything in the bag though uh, okay so um, kind of looks like yeah, this follows. Well, this follows what happens in real life. If you pour it out that way, yeah, there's still some, uh, some, um, let's say, some grains left or something, something left inside the bag. So everything does not pour out like continuously. So you have to tilt it more. Oh, oh crap! <laughs> uh, you have to tilt it more. And then it does run out eventually unless you tilt it out some more. Uh, there's uh, think we, uh, another tilt, I guess, would help. Oh, 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 oh. I'll try to make this as precise as possible. <laughs> Not sure how how, pre how precise I can get by the end of this. Oh, never mind. Uh, stop pouring. All right, we're good with this. Let's put it there. I don't think we will be needing that. Uh, uh, for this one, four hundred percent. Oh crap! Four hundred. Okay. All right. I'll go crazy. This is just a small bag. We might overshoot. There are birds. I'm hearing birds. So I guess there's that. Hopefully the background music isn't too much. Yeah, without the background music that plays, uh, you'll just be hearing the hum, I guess, coming from the fridge. Other than that, if we turn on the, the stove, I guess. Wait, crap! <laughs> oh no, wait, wait, wait. We need 400, okay, okay. Thought we need 300. Ah, okay, never mind. Uh, okay, let's place it there. All right, next step. Uh, retrieve the stainless steel pot from the sink. All right, there we go. And place it on the kitchen hob. What's a kitchen hob? 
Oh, okay, that's such a now. Alright. But where I'm at, where I'm from, you just call this a stove. <laughs> oh, place the item. Alright. Uh, next step. Uh, uh, turn on the hob and heat the water to 75 Celsius. Alright. Uh, interact, mouse wheel up to increase. Press G to uh, to enter X-ray mode. Ooh. Then look at the container at the container to see its current temperature. All right, so set temperature, increase. I guess that's a max. Oh, now move. Oh. All right, there we go. Um, G. Ooh. So currently, the water inside is just at eleven point. Uh, 11 Celsius. It's gonna take a while though. Huh. Let's, uh, well, while we are waiting for that to boil or at least reach 75C, once the water has reached reached 75C, remove the pot from the hob and pour 10 liters of the water into the mash tun. The temperature of the mash tun should reach 65C. If it's lower, add more hot water. Okay. That's quite a lot. Alright, so let me put this here just in case. Alright. So, said there we only had to pour the first 10 uh, here. So it has to reach 65C. And basic thermo thermodynamics tell, uh, well, dictates that. If you pour something into something that is not the same temperature, it will balance out. So you should expect that this water, once it's placed here, should become relatively cooler. All right, it's gonna take a while. Let's try out the let's try out the the, the uh, time travel again. Let's uh, uh. okay, forty, fifty. Sixty. But it looks like it's also slowing down as it heats up. It's not just the uh, a linear increase in temp. Alright, it's almost seventy-five. Ooh. Ah, okay, it's seventy-five. Uh, 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 uh. Um, let me. Yeah, I'd like to keep the water temperature oh it's actually going down so let me increase it a bit that way we can keep it I guess not <laughs> all right hopefully that should keep it at uh, no it's still going down how about this it's still going down all right anyway we'll just pour it up pour it down I me mean. Um, huh? What? I already have the pot here. Uh, that's all. Wait one, one sec. Mm. Put the stainless steel ba pot back on the hob to ensure an easy supply of. Okay, well, we're doing the right thing. Uh, pour the water. Why can't I pour it? Huh? I'm confused. <laughs> One sec. <laughs> the water is cooling down though, so... It should... Uh, there we go. Uh, wait a sec. Can't I pour you over there? Yeah, let me pick this up back again. Oh, there we go. Um, so... Half. Um, if we pour it at an angle like 45 degrees, I think that should help us reach half quicker. It's basically half of the water would still remain in the tub. Then again, though, we did not fill up the entire pot. <laughs> okay, another two, I guess. Another one should help. Oh, oh. Oh, I was looking at the different number. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, there we go. Put this back in here. Okay, then. Um, how about this? Oh, it's 64. It said 65. Oh, crap. Um, I knew we should have just 
increase this to like 80. <laughs> now it's 64. <laughs> oh no. Can we pour it back? No, wait, no, there's already some stuff inside. All right. <laughs> I almost put, I almost poured it back inside a pot. Uh, this is going down faster though, so let me put the lid for now. Maybe not. Uh, pick this back up, I guess. A pour. Okay, I think that's enough. <laughs> All right, put you back in there. All right, sixty-four forty-eight. Uh, I guess uh, that should. I uh, guess that's okay. <laughs> if it's lower, add hot, more hot water. But if I add it, add more hot water, that will just make the stuff diluted. I'm not sure. All right, close the mash tun's lid and maintain a temperature of around sixty-five C for an hour. The temperature drops in a few degrees. Yeah, crap. Yeah, we really do have to. Yeah. Can you... I don't want to uh, use the time um, or speed up the time though because this will also cool down. Well, let's just hope. Yeah, I think it was just a good idea to uh, to heat this thing up more than you you need it to uh, you need to be so that. Uh, the temperature doesn't drop that much. All right, all right. Let's try to put some more water inside. Hopefully that. Ah, crap. Uh, hopefully that's enough though. All right, all right, all right. Sixty-five. Okay, there we go. Um, it says. Oh, said. Uh, for an hour. All right. So we need the time here. It's 10.52. Uh, we should be done by 11.52. Just before lunchtime. Good. Uh, Alright, stop. Alright, next step. Um, hmm. This is a mashing stage of brewing where starches in the grain are broken down to fermentable sugars. Use the x-ray mode to watch our sugar increasing over time. Oh, okay. Let's try this out. Uh, boil the remaining water in stainless steel pot and pour all of it into the mash tun. So we actually have to boil this up. Oh, actually it's boiling. I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, look at that. The fermentable sugars, we still have like around 2000 grams. Fermentable is 309 is going up, so fermentable should go down as the yeast. I think we haven't even poured yeast yet, actually. All right, well, anyway. <laughs> oh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, boil the remaining water, pull the uh, Okay, let's pour the remaining hot water in. I don't think we have enough because it has been boiling for quite some time. Alright, uh, pour everything. There we go. Almost done. And it just left the, uh, the stove burning, the hot burning. Alright. I think I don't need this anymore. Let's shut this down just to be safe. Alright. Okay, we still have 2200, so more than enough uh, material <laughs> inside. So next step is... I shall place a stainless steel pot on the lower surface and a mash tun, such as a stool or the ground, retrieve a tube from the equipment cupboard, and then attach it to the mash tun staff, then to the stainless steel pot's rim. Uh, this? I'll we'll place it on this stool, I guess. Oh, okay. And then it asked for a tube. Okay. Tube. Let's get one. Oh. Crap. All right, there we go. Uh, let's pick this up. Put this in there. It said that uh, we're on number 11. 
Um, retrieve a tube, uh, attach it to the flash turns tap, then the same steel parts brim. Oh, okay. We're gonna do a, uh, I'm sorry, I forgot what it's called though. Uh, siphoning? I guess. It's not really siphoning. Um, wait, let me. I think it can rotate this. Alright, there we go. Make it easier for me to attach. See the uh, tap. Oh uh, my god. Why is it not turning properly? <laughs> Fast enough. <alone. laughs> that was way too precarious. Oh, why did it not turn? There we go. Alright. Put this on. Oh, okay. Connect the tube there. And connect the tube there. Ooh. Alright. So, do we need to do anything? Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> you have to open the tap. <laughs> That's kind of stupid. Alright, there we go. I guess it's important that you don't have the lid here. That way the water can then, or the liquid can just flow. Uh, Alright, well, while we are waiting for that to fill up, or for everything to, to, tra to be transferred, um. That is the work. Okay, that's called the work. A sugar liquid that will eventually be turned to beer. Alright. Uh, one. Move the stainless steel pot containing the work to the hob and heat until boiling. Oh, okay. So once. Uh, once all of the work has been transferred, we'll then put this back on the hob and heat up till boiling. Alright, good. Uh, let's do some advanced reading <laughs> uh, from the fridge freezer. Okay, retrieve the falling hops 10 grams of cascader and 30 of citra oh, Okay, hops are used in beer brewing to add bitterness and flavor Citra will be adding a lot of the fruity kick we're after for this beer style nice So we're talking about the uh, the hints of flavor Actually, though, I've studied, I've studied in college, I've studied like uh, the hospitality uh, course, taking the hospitality course. So we've had some, uh, we've had some classes where we had to literally taste beer, <laughs> alcoholics. So uh, kind of familiar with some of the, uh, some of the, uh, the terms that are being used. And yeah, this just brings me back to those times. Anyway, all oh, right, freezer, forgot. Um, oh wait, do we have to take them out now? Because I'm, I'm worried that they might just. But oh, there we go, cascader. I'm worried that they, it might affect their flavor or something. I think it was ten of cascader and how much of citra? Thirty grams of citra. All right. Citra. All right, there we go. Thirty. There we go. Thirty. Nope. Okay, we got thirty of citra. We got ten of the cascader. Let's just put this on <laughs> on there. All right, are you done? Oh, not yet. Okay. Um. Place the cascader hops into the stainless steel pot and continue boiling for 15 minutes. So once we have it boiling here, we just need to place the cascader hops first. Okay. And then the citra, place the citra hops in the same pot 10 minutes. Oh, okay, wait, wait one second. I might screw this up. <laughs> we have to do this properly. All right. Cascader first, 15 minutes. And then citra, 10. Okay, I will definitely. There's a huge chance that I might screw this up. Oh, let's see. Oh, I already forgot. Um, huh? Cascader 50. Cascader 50. All right. Well, uh, let's put it that way. That, uh, that way, I know which one to put in first. <laughs> Okay. Uh, is this still not done yet? This takes a while. Oh, uh, let's. Well, we don't have to worry about overshooting something because it's basically just 
water transfer or liquid transfer so that speed time up but anyway it's done actually all right that was quick okay uh attach the two let's put it somewhere there okay stainless steel pot put in, in there oh god it's swishing around swishing around all right and then we have to increase this set this to boil so max temp uh maybe let's use the time again because it looks like we not sure if we can reach 100 degrees so it looks like we can only reach like around 99 let's try it out i don't want to over boil it because uh if you notice the uh the volume that we have it's actually going down it's now at 2152 51 50. uh we do have enough buffer so i don't think we will lose more or we will end up less than what we need oh god it is speeding up though <laughs> but it's not still not boiling kind of i'm kind of afraid I guess it was just right for us to get or to uh, like a buffer. It is going down faster. Just, just right though. I mean, that's what happens in real life. <laughs> oh god, we're losing liquid. But we have yet to reach 100. Oh, there we go, 99. Uh, this takes a while. Oh, we're gonna lose. Uh, never mind. We're, we're down to we're less than 20 liters. Oh, okay. Almost there. 99. Can we? Oh, oh crap. Oh crap. What's happening? Oh no. What's happening? <laughs> All right. Cascader for 15 minutes. I think we lost a lot. It looks like it's just boiling, bubbling. Um, it's 4:30 in the afternoon. We we'll just have to uh, wait until 5:20, I think. But let's speed time up. Wait, wait, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Um. Okay, I don't have to remove the cascader bag. All right, all right, all right. So we actually need to boil this for an hour. Be careful though. <laughs> uh, okay. Six, seven, eight. Uh, I do wish we can have like a, another view of the time somewhere in the screen. Probably like some sort of a clock. Uh, let me put this inside. Uh, don't remove that. Place item. There we go. And then we just have to wait up until I think I placed that a minute too early. I guess that's okay. Uh, we just have to wait until 5.30. All right. Okay. Six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. There we go. Let's remove this. Put that in there. We don't need. Oh no! Uh, no, not you. Just this one. Okay, there we go. Alright, next step. I remove both bags and take the stainless steel pot off the hop. Oh crap. Okay, let's place it place on the table. I don't think that will burn the table itself. Uh, let's turn this off. Okay, and right, I could have just placed a cover again. I guess that should make the boiling process faster, and we won't be losing that much water or that much liquid. But uh, oh, okay. Number 18, um, retrieve the following from the equipment cupboard. 
an immersion coil small and two tubes okay i already have one there i think yeah i guess it's just equipment immersion and then uh, what does it look like this one oh this one all right and the tube there we go gotta replace that there and replace that there that looks weird all right uh place Place the immersion coil inside the stainless steel pot. Alright, immersion coils are used to cool hot work faster, which can reduce contamination and prevent hot flavors from being lost as well as saving time. Oh, 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 okay. Alright, let's place it in there. So basically this is oh crap. Literally water cooling. <laughs> okay. So I guess we have to uh we have to put it there. Uh I'll put this to here again. Let me just get all the stuff that we need closer to us there we go uh, uh connect the first tube to the intake of the immersion coil then to the sink tap okay let's do that first immersion coil intake connect tap connect there we go nice and then the next part of that was connect the second tube to the outtake of the immersion coil then to the sink basin all right and then we turn the tap on uh connect there and i guess we just put that there all right good now we cool this down open tap Ooh. wait is there was there a temperature though and wait until the work in the stainless steel pot is dropped below 23c then remove the immersion coil all right it's gonna take a while to get so let's try to. Oh, it's actually cooling down quickly, rather quickly. Let's hasten this up some more. <laughs> it is cooling down quickly. Nice. It's not boiling anymore though. Forty-three, thirty-two, thirty-one, thirty, twenty-nine, twenty-eight, twenty-seven, twenty-six, twenty-five. All right, I guess that's. Uh, there we go. All right, and then what was the next step? Uh, remove the immersion coil. Okay. All right. And the next step: retrieve a fermentation container from the equipment cupboard. Um, fermentation container. It looks like there was another step. Fermentation container. There we go. Drink this one. It's not really a small one though. It looks like a big one. But I guess there would be. Other containers are much larger than this. Okay, uh, and then what's the next step? Retrieve the northeast e northeast ale yeast. Try saying that ten times from the fridge freezer. All right, northeast ale yeast. Oh, there we go. And a Belgian, of course, it's called a Belgian. All right, got the yeast. Um. Mm. Pour the wort in the stainless uh, in the stainless steel pan to the fermentation container. If necessary, top off the fermentation container from the water uh, with water from the sink tap until it contains 20 liters. So add water from the container connected by a tube to the sink tap. Okay. Okay. Of course, we have to remove the lid once more. Pick this up. Uh, pour inside. Pick everything. Yeah. Wow, we're only we were only left with like around fifteen. Actually, it says sixteen. That's weird. Ten fifteen a while ago, but yeah, sixteen. So we have to fill this up until up until it reaches 20, 20 liters again. Let's connect this in here. Connect that in there. Uh, open the tap. Kind of afraid. What will happen here though okay it's rising by 100 mils okay let's just wait this up <laughs> i guess this will be a good time to talk about more about the game but yeah i've 
I actually just found out about uh, Brewmaster uh, a couple of weeks ago. Oh, almost done. Uh, during a Steam Fest of some sort. I think it was an indie fest. I think I'm not sure. I already forgot at this point. Alright, so we got 20 liters. Let's pick this up. And yeah, I was looking for other simulation games, simulator games I can try. I found this game. And I got interested because one, it's a simulator game. It reminds me of <laughs> the cooking simulator. I haven't played that, but I have just watched the videos and it was fun. Second, ooh, beer crafting. It's something I'm interested with. Alright, um, but pour the northeast ale yeast, northeast ale yeast, northeast ale yeast to the fermentation container, then attach the lid. All right, let's yeet the yeast inside. All right, there we go. Yeet. Oh, okay, it's water. Of course, I know yeast actually comes in yeast like in not really powder but it looks like small very small grains of long grains of something but i guess yeah now that i remember it yeah you have to activate the yeast so i guess along the way <laughs> already thought that fast but yeah you have to pour water in, in, inside the yeast to activate them to wake them up i guess that's why it was liquid um, 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 um. Oh, wait 15. Oh, okay. Wait 15 days. Skip large chunks of time. Use a calendar that's beside the ingredients cupboard. Try checking the fermentation container after a week. We'll see in the x-ray mode that the ABV stat is increasing as the ferment fermentable sugars decrease. You can also remove the lid to take a peek in at the Krausen. <laughs> The foamy head that forms on the liquid as the yeast does its job. Alright. It says 15 days. Calendar. Oh, let's... Of course, let's put the lid. Um, let's... Maybe we can place this these stuff inside them. Without cleaning them. Alright, because that... Uh, that intensifies the taste of the next batch. <laughs> Alright, anyway, um, calendar, advance time, it says 15 days, but we'll have to check, uh, you know, after a week, so let's try moving 7 days first, 7 days, there we go, uh, advance, oh, oh, we have to wait again, <laughs> alright, I was expecting a more, uh, like immediate time skip. Oh, by the way, this game has a lot of time skips. Yeah. So this calendar has some sort of a Time Lord technology, as well as the uh, the watch. I guess it was owned by Time Lord before. I don't know. All right. Kind of excited to see what's inside, though. How it looks inside. We should be seeing the Krausen. Krausen. Where the head, the, the foam, or what's called the head. All right, uh, a week has passed. Let's see. Open the lid. Ooh, nice. The moving. Nice. We really don't have to do anything, right? Um, check the ABV stat is increasing. ABV is at 2.73, kind of still weak. Yeah. Um, IBU. What's an IBU? Let me do a quick Google search. Well, that's not it. <laughs> um. Oh, international bitterness units. Okay. This will tell us how bitter it is. It's at 29.59, but does it mean anything to me yet? <laughs> but there are some charts to compare it with. Uh, apparently, oh. 29 gives, uh, puts it somewhere between Baltic Porter and a Maybach. Ugh. 
Again, I'm not sure what those are. I haven't, I really haven't tasted much any other beers in my life. <laughs> Aside from the ones you buy from the store. ABV 2.73, I've drank uh, around 6. I usually drink like around 60, uh, 6, oh, not degrees, 6% 6 alcohol per... Oh, what does ABV mean, by the way? Oh, one sec. I know it's for alcohol though. Alcohol by volume. Alright, that makes sense. Um, uh, yeah, it's 2.73. In theory, that should increase more as we ferment it because uh, we still have like around a kilo, 1,091 grams of sugars. Uh, if we let the yeast do its job, it will eat all the sugars, turn them into alcohol. And that's how we get the higher ABV. All right. Uh, I don't think there are any other stuff that we have to talk about here. <laughs> no, again, I'm not really that much uh, that uh, knowledgeable about beers. Original gravity. I think that's a specific gravity. Now our specific gravity of water is, I think, one. So it's the benchmark. So anything higher than that is denser, I think. Might be wrong. Anything lower than that is uh, a less denser. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's do another time skip by seven more days. There we go. We have to advance again. Oh, I forgot. Should have checked the. Uh, the recipe. Uh, dang it. <laughs> Hopefully they did not miss anything. Yeah, there's no way for us to... Uh, to speed up the time skip. I guess that's a bit too much. <laughs> and knowing in other games such as KSP, the Kraken might come for us if we do more time skips than we than what we are permitted to or might uh, violate the uh, time space stuff quickly wobbly time stuff all right okay so the ABV has uh, increased by or increased to 5.42 so almost twice and specific gravity is at 1.49 Carbonation though is at 0 0.71 PS. Wait, why is the carbonation that small? Or it's less than one. I'm kind of confused. I'm actually expecting the PSI to be at. I'm trying to Google it. Uh, no, really not sure what to look for. <laughs> but I'm expecting the PSI to be higher than one. Or it might be wrong. I'm not sure. Um. Because that means the carbonation is... There's actually negative pressure inside. Or maybe that's above or what's above what. So I guess it's 1.7. I'm not sure. Um, temp has... We actually just left it in here. We did not place it somewhere else where it's cold or something like that. We just left it outside here. Boom temp. Uh, color 4.2 SRM. I guess that's another unit for how to check the color. Uh, oh no, wait. Original gravity was at 0.49. Now the specific gravity, the current one, is at 0.008. So I guess that's because the sugar, which made the liquid denser, has been converted into carbon dioxide. Yeah. Carbon dioxide. And then some of it uh, into alcohol. That's why, well, it became less denser than it was. Still denser, a bit denser than water. So, yeah. Uh, protein, 0.35. Uh, almost, uh, almost all the sugar, the fermentable sugar, has been used up. Wow. Okay. All right. By the way, wait for 15. Okay, that's it. Uh, from the equipment cupboard, retrieve a plastic 
barrel from the ingredients cupboard retrieve a bag of oh, okay we we're not done yet <laughs> okay we have to uh oh no 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 uh this one sugar corn sugar Oh, I'm throwing these out. You there? Don't have to clean you guys. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if I should place them back in here, I guess. Alright, these ones. Um, I think we should just throw these out. They're spent, basically. Alright. That looks like I do have a cat as well. Maybe not. Oh no, those are just cleaning stuff. <laughs> Thought that was a dog bowl. Alright, anyway. Um, ooh, 200 grams of corn sugar to the fermentation container. Alright. Uh, open the lid. 200 grams. How much do we have? Oh, 500. Okay. We just need 200. Alright. Uh, maybe another tilt should do oh, okay great there we go perfect just uh, just the right su sweetness all right next step place the plastic barrel on a lower surface than the fermentation container Oh, no, no, no. For a second there, I thought I did something wrong <laughs> because I just remembered we have to take a plastic barrel. I forgot about the plastic barrel. Which is. This is it. It's a mash ton barrel. Oh, there. There we go. Yeah, for a second there, I really thought that I messed things up. Um, plastic barrel, lower surface, attach a tube. Okay, it's another tube job again. Uh, then attach a tube between the fermentation container tap barrels opening open the tap okay oh we actually need the tubes again uh, of course we have to remove the lid uh, we only need one tube all right uh, why is it facing that way let me turn this around uh, I guess that's enough uh, connect the tube connect the tube nice and then we just open the tab nice then again we won't be getting much of these I guess we don't want that oh, that foam I guess the Krausen is different from the foam that we get once we pour a beer and a glass or maybe it's the same one but not as strong as this I don't know might read up on that so that we will know while waiting though I'd like to uh, like to venture around see what's around here I guess not <laughs> this is quite a nice house it's a small one it's basically just a lodge but I like it not much rooms though. Ooh, this is the cellar. Wow. I'm gonna. Well, if I will be building a house for myself, uh, I'll make sure I'll add a cellar as well. This isn't much of a cellar actually, it's not below ground thing. Uh, as far as I know, cellars. If you talk about cellars for me. They're usually below ground. I guess that also counts as one. Depends on where you are. Um, hmm. This takes a while. Alright. Time skip. Oh, there we go. Oh, just saw it. Uh, uh, all right. uh, we just saw the liquid, the last of the liquid get uh, drained into the uh the plastic barrel <laughs> all right let's put you back in there without washing um next 
No, attach a plastic barrel slid, lid and leave for 15 days. Another 15 days, I guess. All right. Tip, this is the conditioning stage where the beer improves and the yeast creates further CO2 to carbonate the beer. Remember to use the calendar. All right, sure. Uh, so we wait another 15 days. All right. All right, so I guess, yeah, because the original whatever was the original sugars that was placed in there have been used up or converted into uh, alcohol. That's why we had to add more uh, sugar into it uh, to give the yeast more food and to, I guess, to raise the carbonation as it mentioned earlier and to uh give it more taste give more alcohol abv i guess yeah beer crafting is not just an easy science though it's not an easy thing to do there's a lot of stuff that you have to do a lot of stuff they have to consider um the ingredients the temperature the time the time uh the, the time that you have to ferment them yeah at some point though at one point i almost considered brewing something uh i wanted to start with at least brewing a mead which is basically fermented honey but yeah i got uh, i got uh, discouraged because that might just end up uh Kind of bad and uh, i already know i don't really know what uh, yeast to get maybe you can just go and shop online but it's not that cheap so anyway all right almost done though there we go oh we have to wait a couple more hours all right there we go um wait one sec there we go <laughs> Uh, temperature is lower than uh, room 30 IBU so it uh, actually uh, got more bitter ABV got only raised back around not a point one percent yeah specific gravity it, uh, went down again I uh, went up again because we added more sugar carbonation now that no, this is a carbonation I was expecting. So I guess um, the second part where we added in sugar was, uh, well, the sugar was meant to increase the carbonation. So if we open this up, you'll hear the uh, the fizz. So virgil gravity, fermentable, unfermentable sugars. Not sure. Man. Are unfermentable sugars so sweet? Not sure. <laughs> Uh, attach. All right, 15 days. Oh, last step. It's time to taste your beer. Move the plastic barrel to the tasting room and start the tasting sequence by interacting with the draw taps whilst holding the barrel. Nice. We get to taste the beer now. So this is actually a tasting room. It's not. <laughs> it's not a cellar. Might as well be. Uh, because we have all these. All right. Taste beer. Ooh. That looks nice. Not much head though. Well, I guess maybe because it has been left. Oh. So pale. This basically is still pale despite it uh, looking a bit amberish. I wonder how dark the dark ones look like. Maybe it's almost like a chocolate. <laughs> Alright, carbonation is still a bit flat. Alright, that's good enough and batch size all right that's just a batch clarity slightly hazy now i'm not sure which factors can affect he uh clarity probably straining stuff like that or maybe the other additives uh other ingredients malty sweet Ooh, i like it uh, i like my beer a bit sweet don't really like it that bitter <laughs> all right 
Oh, hoppy and bitter. It's not that bitter, actually. It's just a three. Uh, it's fruity and spicy. A crisp and clean, not that much. Yeah, because technically we placed in uh, flavorings. Or oh, I forgot what they're called, actually. Yeah, other flavors. Uh, it's not sour, it's not tart. It's not dark or roasted, of course. Malty and sweet. Yeah. Probably this is a beer that I would drink a lot. <laughs> All right, we got notes of citrus, lime, lemon, ester. I'm not sure what ester is. Grapefruit, melon, passion fruit, tropical fruit, bis biscuit, <laughs> nutty. <laughs> to be honest, though, I've always, ba even back then, we when we were tasting beer, there's this term right here, the hint of nuttiness. But, uh. Ever since that time, uh, I don't really know what nutty tastes like. Maybe if I eat nuts, I do eat nuts, but the taste of nuts don't really like uh, leave a strong impression. So I don't uh, associate it. Associate it. Uh, uh, I could not speak. Associate it <laughs> with uh, like beverages. All right, caramel and honey. Ooh. Yeah, I want them. I want to try out if maybe we can uh, craft mead in this game in the future. Because I you want to taste what mead tastes like. Or you want to know what ta mead tastes like. <laughs> Alright, ABV is a bit high. 5.55, around the same level of the kind of beer that I like to drink. Bitterness is. Almost average, uh, a bit low, 30.1 IBUs, body is medium, uh, I forgot what body is, <laughs> I think it's body, body, I think, not sure if this uh, applies to it, but I, body, uh, I encountered it when we were tasting wine, and it is... Has something to do with the alcohol level. Uh, the more alcohol is on the weight. Might have it wrong though because it's kind of conflicting. But yeah, it, the more viscous the 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 beverage is. I don't know. <laughs> Might be spouting nonsense here. Anyway, original gravity is one. Final gravity is a bit higher. Okay. Contamination. Good. It's unimplemented, but I think it's already contaminated. All right, beer category. It's a straw bitter, 65% strong bitter, 50% New England, 50% British Golden Ale, 50% American Pale Ale, best bitter, 50%. All right, this is just a summary, I think. Summary? Oh, okay. All right, there we go. Great. All right, I guess that was it. <laughs> All right. So it says here, thanks so much for playing. If you'd like to share screenshots or video from the game, do feel free and make sure to tag them with hashtag brewmaster as we'd love to see them yeah, for a survey. All right, but basically, it's just a message to me. But yeah, that was Brewmaster. Um, I am really looking forward to uh, playing the game, the, uh, the final release of this game, or even just a demo, a more demo. Uh, so that we can try out other uh, other recipes, try out other um, others. Yeah, we can try it. We can basically see what the difference are between the beer. This actually can have like uh, it, it depends on how um, realistic the devs would make it make this to be. But this can actually become a a learning. A learning tool yeah i might even uh, like suggest it to my uh, previous professors maybe try this out try this game out and uh, you don't have to drink um uh, stuff anymore <laughs> drink beer anymore but i guess that takes out the fun in the beverage class though but yeah uh, i would like to thank uh Auroc digital for uh, giving me a copy of the alpha uh, alpha copy of this game. Uh, re I'm really thankful for them. And yeah, don't forget if you'd like to uh, play this 
game on Steam soon. You can put it on your wish list as early as now. And I think that would be it. That's it for me. Thank you very much for joining uh, this uh, beer crafting stream. Uh, this has been Brewmaster, the alpha playtest. And this has been Offside. Catch you guys next time, I guess. Bye.